I have recently shared a tutorial video on utilizing the Vivid Light Blend Mode to craft captivating color grades. Now, let's expose a similar process in DaVinci Resolve. Here, we have the initial image, and right alongside it, you'll find the image after applying the color grade. Let's start and apply this color grade. First, I will pause the timeline at the starting point of the original image. Next, I'll navigate to the color tab. By doing this, our image will be the selected clip in the color tab. We already have a note to start off, and I'm going to add a serial note, which will act as a luminosity mask for the other notes we're going to add in a minute. Let's go ahead and give it a label. To have this note act as a luminosity mask, I'm going to use the HSL qualifier and select the range in the luminance bar, targeting mainly the shadows and the midtones. Perfect. I will now switch to the key section as this will show us later what is being masked. We will now need two color fill layers which are created by using the color generator effect. Let's enable the effects panel and search for color. There will be a color generator. I will now drag and drop the color generator onto the node layout, resulting in the creation of a color generator node. Let's set its color to teal. In order to make the color generator work, it will need an input. For that, I will use the output of the first node. The teal we want to use is for the shadows, so I'm going to use the alpha output of the luminosity mask we created earlier as the alpha input for this node. If I switch to highlight mode in the preview, we can see the output of the current node, and as expected, the shadows are now in teal. We need another color for the highlights, so I'm going to add another color generator node, set its color to orange this time, and link the alpha of the mask node. When we preview this node, you can see that the orange color is also applied to the shadows. We actually want the opposite, so basically the applied mask should be inverted. This can be easily done in the key panel. Under the key input, there is an invert button. When we press this, the mask or the key is inverted and we get exactly what we need. The basis is ready, time to merge everything together. To achieve that, I'm going to add a layer mixer node. By default, it has two inputs, but I'm going to add another input as we have three images we need to blend, our original image and the two color layers. The top input will be the original image coming from the first node, then the teal and finally the orange. Keep in mind that the order of processing is a bit different compared to Photoshop or Affinity. The top node is actually the bottom layer and the lower nodes are the layers on top. The last step involves applying the Vivid Line to Blend mode. To do this, simply right-click on the Layer Mixer node and choose Vivid Lines from the Composite Mode submenu. Excellent! The chances are that the effect will be way too much, but we can fix that by dimming down the key output gain values of the teal and the orange nodes. From now on, it's just a matter of fine-tuning, which involves fine-tuning the chosen two colors, adjusting the gains of the masks, blurring the mask for a smoother transition, and also fine-tuning the initial luminance mask we created. Optionally, you can add a serial note after the layer mixer note and do some additional adjustments, like in this example, lowering the strength of the bright oranges. If you're planning to use this effect more often or on multiple clips, here's a tip for you. You can apply these notes on an adjustment layer. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go back to the Edit tab, make sure the Effects panel is enabled, and search for Adjustment. We can now drag and drop an adjustment to the timeline. When I go back to the Color tab, the Adjustment clip is selected. To see which clip is selected, you can enable the clips from the toolbar. I can now select the image clip we just color graded. Select all the notes with the mouse, Press Command or Ctrl C to copy them. I can now go back and select the adjustment clip and press Command V or Ctrl V to paste the notes. Pretty awesome. When I go back to the edit page, notice how this color effect is only applied to where the adjustment layer is on top. Because the color grade is in the adjustment layer, 
we can easily adjust the length or the position of the effect in the timeline. Another great tip is to save this adjustment as a kind of a template. Make sure the power bin is enabled in your library window. You can now drag and drop the adjustment we just created to your power bin and give it a name. Power bins are available in all projects, so in other words we have created a template we can use anytime. Whenever I need this color effect, I can drag the adjustment from the power bin and drop it on the timeline. The clip beneath will be color graded. Pretty awesome. Before leaving you, here are some additional DaVinci tips for you. First of all, you can always customize the notes in the adjustment clip by going to the color tab. Another way of copying the notes from another clip is by making use of stills. Suppose I want to use the color grade from the second image in this adjustment. I can select the clip, right click on the preview and choose create still. A snapshot will be made and will be shown in the stills panel. When I go back to the adjustment layer of which I want to replace the notes, I can now right click on the still and choose apply grade. This will now replace the current notes with the ones from the still. Pretty amazing. As mentioned in the Affinity video, you can experiment with different color combinations to get an interesting look. Another cool way to fine tune the color grade is by applying a color grade to the first note. As everything is derived from this note, you can get pretty interesting results. Alternatively, you can add a serial note between the first note and the layer mixer note and adjust this one. This will not affect the color fills and the changes will be less extreme. I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.